Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Saturday, August 3rd, 2024. Our reading today comes to us from Psalms 139, reading from verse 17 to 24. And it says, How precious also are thy thoughts unto me, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I should count them, they are more in number than the sun when I awake. I am still with thee. Surely thou wilt slay the wicked, O God. Depart from me therefore, ye bloody men. For they speak against thee wickedly, and thine enemies take thy name in vain. Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate me? And am not I grieved with those that rise up against thee? I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them mine enemies. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me, and know my thoughts. And see if there be any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. Amen. This is a very powerful reading this morning. And when we think about the reading, here the servant of the Lord is saying that God knows our every thought. He knows what we are thinking. His thought towards us is vast. It's numerous. He doesn't think about us one moment and then forget about us the next. He's always thinking about us his mind is always on us and as he says that if he should count the amount of time god think of him the amount of time that god shows in mercies the amount of time that god has been there he says that it is more than the sand that is on the seashore and that is true how oh, many times have God provided for you and me? How oh, many times have he protected us? Everything that happened to us, they are not unknown to God. And so he's constantly, one writer said that his eyes are constantly on us. And so there's nothing that is hid from in his eyes. And so he sees everything that we do every thought that we have every motive every action and when we wake up in the morning after we have done things that we are not supposed to do and god still give us life the next day that's god's mercy and we should not take that for granted because it could have been that he allowed us not to wake up and if we die in our wickedness then it is over for us over for us and so what the the writer is saying to us this morning is that god will destroy the wicked and so we need to walk away from wickedness we need to depart from those things that are contrary to the will of god right because those things they go against everything that god stands for so those who speak wickedly about god take his name in vain all of those things they will pay the price if they do not repent and so when we think about all of this we realize that it is a great danger when we rise up against god and we are not supposed to use our senses, our bodies, anything that is of us for the glory of ourselves and for anything evil. So in other words, our hands, we must not use our hands to do evil. We must not use our eyes to do evil. We must not do use our nose, our mouth. Our senses, they must be used for the glory and the honor of God. When we rise up in the morning, the first thing we must be thinking about is how can I give God glory today? 
what are the things that I can do to magnify his holy name. It should not be to do evil and to cause harm and to tear down others. That's not the purpose of our existence. Oh, the purpose of our existence is to give honor and glory to our Heavenly Father. Now, this is something I want us to think about. The question is asked, do not I hate them that hate thee? So, sometimes we carry feelings towards those who hate God and we carry feelings towards those who hate us. But the question is, should we do that? If somebody doesn't like you, do you have the right to hate them? Or I should say, should you hate them? Certainly not. Because isn't hatred a form of wickedness? And what the reading says that God will destroy wickedness and those who are participating and practicing wickedness. So if hatred is a wickedness or hatred is wicked we must not hate anyone it doesn't matter what they have done to us it doesn't matter how they treat us how they talk about us whatever they are doing to us we should never hate them and sometimes some of these hatred comes out and we we realize that look here we have a problem because they weren't at the forefront before so we thought that we were in a safe zone and when something happens and when somebody offends us and we see that side of us, we realize that, look here, we have a real problem. And that is why the servant of the Lord said, look here, search me. Search me, O God. Know my heart. You see the things in my heart that shouldn't be. Try me. You be my judge. Don't allow the world to be my judge. You search me first. You judge me first. Judge my thoughts. What are the reasons why I do the things that I do? And then after you have seen all that is in me that shouldn't be, take it away. Purify me. Wash me thoroughly. And make me thine. Huh? He says that see if there is any wicked ways in me see what is in my heart point me in the right direction and help me to humble myself before thee as you lead me in the way of everlasting life so we must surrender our will to god so that god can make us into his likeness because if we are practicing hatred against anyone, then we have a real problem. And so my encouragement to all of us this morning is that we need to think about God the way God thinks about us. Instead of using our, our mind and our heart and our body to exalt Satan and the things that Satan stands for, we should use them for the glory and the honor of God. And I say amen. I say amen. Because without God, none of us would be here to be doing the things that we should not do. If not for God's mercy, where would we be? where would we be and so we have a lot to think about today because we know if we if we examine ourselves right now we know there are things in us that shouldn't be huh? you may not be go out there committing murder you may not be out there stealing but there are other things in us that should not be as christians and it is better if we let god judge us rather than the world judge us because the world is not a fair judge it's not a fair judge so why take the name of the lord in vain why we pretend to be something we are not because 
we take the name of the Lord in vain, when we say that we are his disciples, when we say that we are Christians, but when you observe our actions, it is telling a different story. That's what we are doing when we take the name of the Lord in vain. So it's not just any one way we can take his name in vain. There are several ways we can take it, his name in vain. And we need to be mindful of that. So we have a responsibility to make sure that we are walk according to the light that we have been called. So that we can be an example to those who stand against us. Be an example to our enemies. Right? Because our enemies are considered those who have malicious thoughts and motive towards us. So, may we take this reading this morning and may we be encouraged. May we surrender our will and our motive and our thoughts to God so that He can fix it for us and so that He can purify us and purge us, as one writer says, with Esau and make us clean. May God continue to bless us and may God continue to lead us as we seek to walk in his righteousness. Amen.